you gotta admit, Among Us is a pretty good game, but something all players wanna know is, what's coming next? Not only are we covering the brand new map and all details about it, to Among Us finally being revealed for PlayStation 5 and more, these are 10 secret Among Us leaks. And if you don't smash the subscribe button with your big toe, you'll get bad luck for 10 years. I wouldn't risk it. But coming in at number 10, we have the Hide and Seek beta. So it looks like Innersloth is working on an official Hide and Seek mode for Among Us, and they've been doing so for around a month now. There have been a ton of custom ways to do Hide and Seek in Among Us with their game settings, but it seems that Innersloth finally picked up on that and is officially developing its own mode for the game. The way that this was leaked is actually really interesting too. Over on the official Discord server for Among Us, there are a few channels which are actually hidden away from the public eye. But people with plugins for Discord are able to see the names of these channels, and there are two very interesting ones in the list. Both of them are called Hide and Seek and talk about a beta that's going on right now. But this is just the beginning of a ton of incredible leaks. Starting with number nine, we have the Guardian Angel update. All right, listen, I think I speak for all of us when I say that being a ghost is probably one of the most boring things in the entirety of Among Us. So Inner Sloth is working on a way to spice things up. The developers of the game went on to Twitch's weekly gaming show and actually discussed plans for the future of Among Us, including a guardian angel feature on the way. Basically, when you die and come back as a ghost, instead of walking around doing tasks, you'll also have a brand new role in the game, a guardian angel. And while the developers didn't exactly say what this would do, a pretty big theory is that ghosts might be able to protect crewmates from getting murdered or help them. And if that's the case, it would change the way the game works massively. I mean, it's about time. Maybe this will stop people who die and leave the game immediately, so hooray. But anyways, what you've all been waiting for. Coming in at number eight, we have the next map. So there are a ton of brand new maps coming to Among Us in the future, with the next one just right around the corner. We even have the first details of the new map coming, and it's awesome. While the latest DLC map was Polis, we're already preparing ourselves for the next big thing. In their blog post about the future of the game, Innersloth actually said they're hard at work preparing the next map. And it's going to be a Henry Stickman theme location. Right now, the devs are currently designing the layout, and I don't think it would be a stretch to expect this map around January or February, which is pretty close. But once again, not confirmed. Something a lot of players didn't know is the devs actually call the maps in Among Us stages, like we're just taking a single storyline one step at a time. It's pretty interesting, but now let's move on to... Number seven, voice chat. One of the worst things about Among Us right now is jumping into a lobby and suddenly someone accuses you of being the imposter. I mean, how'd they know? Cause they're big fat freaking cheaters green. Well anyways, a lot of people use Discord when playing the game with friends so they could easily talk to their other friends to warm out the imposter that way. So how do you fix something like this? Well, Inner Sloth is considering adding its own voice chat to Among Us, although it isn't hundred percent confirmed. Right now, people are actually making Discord bots that work well with Among Us so it could auto mute, let you talk to other imposters, all that. There's even a proximity chat chat mod for the game so you could only hear players who are close to you and yeah it just makes the thought of an actual voice chat even better if inner sloth actually ends up adding proximity voice chat it's definitely going to add a ton of immersion especially if you hear someone scream in the next room but if voice chat doesn't solve the cheetah problem then this one definitely will let's jump into number six creating your own account in the exact same blog post where they mentioned the upcoming Henry Stickman map, Innersloth dropped some pretty big bombshells. Something that everyone has been asking for since day one of Among Us has been the ability to make an account, and here's why it would actually change the game for the better. Not only would this let us keep our progress on mobile and PC, but we also wouldn't have to buy DLC twice, we would be able to report, and most importantly, we could add people to our friends list. I mean, how long have we all wanted this? Well, apparently the account system is gonna be added as soon as December, so we won't have to wait long for this one. It will come out in stages though with the account feature in December, and then the functioning friends list is just a little bit after that. This is official by the way, not just any old leak, but it also means we're getting number five, reporting players. Soon, we'll all be able to actually report players we see in Among Us. It'll be the first thing you could do when the account system gets added, and it means the amount of hackers in the game will be reduced by a lot. I mean, not only can we finally report hackers, but you'll also be able to report those pesky crewmates who love to say you're the imposter because my friend on Discord told me. Yeah, they're the worst kinds of people and we could finally report them. But that leads us to number four, Among Us 2. When Among Us first jumped into popularity back in August, the developers were so shocked that they went on their blog and announced they're immediately gonna begin working on a fully fledged sequel, Among Us 2. 
It was supposed to let you do up to 15 player matches, have an official hide and seek mode, different matchmaking for custom modes, and skill levels. I mean, it was even supposed to have accounts and a friends list straight out of the game. However, as a lot of you know, Among Us 2 was canceled so they could work on the main game instead and improve it heavily. While that sucks, it definitely means that everything Inner Sloth was going to add to the sequel is gonna come to the first game instead. Just like all those things I listed, but also things like adding brand new roles. Inner Sloth says they want to add more than just crewmate versus imposter, but a whole bunch of rules for people. In other games like Town of Salem, you have extra roles like the Jester who has to try and get themselves voted out, or a detective who can investigate one person per round. You would be surprised how many ways there is to spice up Among Us, and it seems that Inner Sloth really knows that, so we're definitely expecting to see this in the coming months, and I can't wait. But now we begin our final three leaks with something we've all been asking for since day one. Let's talk about... Number three, additional crewmate colors. I mentioned that things from Among Us 2 will be coming to the first game instead, and it brings us to this, additional colors. It makes sense, of course. I mean, if Inner Sloth are gonna add 15 player matches in the future, it definitely means we're gonna need some more colors. Although that sounds pretty hard considering Among Us kinda already has a ton of colors. And that's why this Redditor made his own concept of what colors could be added for this new update. And there's some cool suggestions here like maroon, gold, peach, it looks really cool. But yeah, additional colors are in fact confirmed to be coming to Among Us now that the sequel has been canceled. So buckle up. But our second to last leak is something that all Among Us fans are craving right now. And that is number two, Among Us on PlayStation 5. With the next-gen consoles out this week, it makes a lot of us want to know if our favorite game will be on there. I mean, sure, Among Us is on PC and mobile right now, but it could actually be coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. No, it's not just speculation, because the developers themselves are starting to give hints. So during a stream with Trainrex, one of the developers working at Inner Sloth actually answered a lot of questions, one of which was, of course, about next-gen consoles. And here's what they said. Uh, would you guys consider console support in, like, the long future? It's something we're starting to talk about. But yeah. we'd have to we have to write a system for like quick um, quick comms. So it it basically basically be for randoms. And I mean, like we, maybe we like, could. Yeah, like Rocket League. Yeah, yeah like would, Rocket League. Nice skill, nice skill, nice skill. It has to be like a little. Yeah, it has to be a little bit more thank sophisticated you, thank you, just thank because you. there's so many options. Okay. And I don't know how if we'd be able to implement the, like console voice chat. Jesse, or you not. coming? Yeah. yeah. Na Na Jesse. I know one of the first things we want to add is a friends list type account system because yeah, it's need, so hard yeah, to do anything yeah. with no So it actually looks like they've begun to talk about Among Us on the next gen consoles and that's super exciting for the future of the game. I'm sure all of you out there with no PC and a slow Nokia phone are going to be thrilled when this finally comes out. But now we have to talk about one of the most anticipated upcoming changes to Among Us in history. Friends lists are cool but deep down every single person playing the game wants our last leak. It's time to finish up with number one, server stability. One of the most complained about things in Among Us is probably the servers. I mean, sure, the game itself is super fun and none of us really have any complaints about the gameplay, but it's let down by the current state of the servers. I mean, I get it. The game blew up so quickly that they didn't really have much time to prepare for all of us, but it shows. Sometimes you'll be playing Among Us like usual and then all of a sudden you just get ejected from the game because there is a server glitch or you get disconnected or something. It could get really annoying, especially when you're the imposter. Not to mention those times where you sat on the main menu just trying to find games for like 20 minutes straight. It's insane. Which is why Inner Sloth are working on server stability. In their blog post, they confirmed that the planned server upgrades for Among Us 2 will be coming to the original game instead. They say that they're working very hard to figure out server issues and they don't actually have a time frame for when this will get added, but over time the server should get better and better. It's one of their biggest priorities, which is awesome for us. I mean, hopefully we won't be getting randomly disconnected all the time in the future. That's the plan. But that's all we have for Among Us Leaks today. Make sure to click on screen right now to check out this awesome video. I promise you go click on the video, you get a cookie. Or maybe not, but this has been Tommy and you're watching T5G.